<laughs> so barn doors, pocket doors, they're huge space savers. Absolutely, because your door is your first experience of the room, and if you can't get in without shimmying past or hitting the toilet, it dampens everything. Yeah. So tapping into that wall space is key for learning how to live smaller. Now, so, if you do have a pocket door, that's what it looks like inside. This is the pocket door frame, and this is fantastic if you're starting for scra from scratch or if you are renovating to the extent where you're gutting the framing. And okay. you can incorporate this into your wall framing, and then we've got this track, which goes across the top, and your door slides right in. So it's brilliant. It's very smooth. This is the little doohickey that gets attached to your door slab, and you can yeah. use whatever slab you've got. You don't have to use something that comes with the kit. It's nice to keep things consistent, especially if you're in a hallway with, with lots of different doors. Mm -hmm. So it just slides inside that track and disappears. Okay, what I need to know is what my kids are putting in there, why mine is broken every other week. Can you put cars in there? Oh, well, yeah, Little there's cars. that, right? Yeah, oh my gosh. something's going on with my pocket door. Absolutely. I mean, they can be a little bit finicky if yeah. they're not properly supported and if you're getting something in there. Okay. Um, and sometimes you can't use them because you might have electrical running beside it, so you right. can't slide the door in. In that case, you can still use a barn door solution and this is a, an love. item from Home Depot actually that so carries good. this and again you can use whatever slab you mm. want and it just slides right along the exterior of the wall. So you're still saving space. You are. A lot of people are doing this just to add architectural detail. It's not even Absolutely. a matter of saving space. Absolutely. It's just they look so good. Absolutely. So we have this company here, 1925 Workbench. Love it. They create these custom door solutions and really these are functional pieces of art. This is a statement yes. door. So this is a reclaimed barn door. This is a gorgeous orange X door. All of the hardware is made on site here in Toronto, so it's local. That's amazing. Absolutely. So you've got some examples of the, the, the wheels that they use oh, there. Oh, there's so many different options for the hardware. So, I mean, I actually found something like this inside my dining room wall when I gutted my place. So really? this is nothing new, but it's, it's definitely made a resurgence. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So you've got, just in terms of options here, you've yes. got that gorgeous color. You've got, We've got this. the steel colors. If you're looking for something industrial. a little bit more industrial, more rustic. Absolutely. You can go long or you can go actually a lot shorter with it, yeah, right? Yeah, so these ones are like mounted ones. on the top of the door. These ones on the side of the door, as you ah, can see. Ah, got it. So it, it all just depends on your look. And these guys can create anything for any problem that you've got in your house. So it, it's custom, right? Custom, made for absolutely, you. absolutely, absolutely. We've got a bunch of pictures of these barn doors in different in spaces sites. so people can see the different ways that you might want to use them. Like this one here, there's actually something behind there. Absolutely. So they created this to cover an unsightly electrical panel and that is mounted on their telescoping bypassing hardware. So it's a single oh. track. Uh, that sound, woo, that, that sounded very super, scientific. Super califragilistic. <laughs> um, but one of the big problems with to having two doors is you often need two tracks in order for them to bypass each other. Right. But they've come up with this really interesting solution on the hardware where it's just a single track and it telescopes and one hinge bypasses another. And I know oh that's my confusing. Gosh. I actually that, I yeah. understood <laughs> that. I saw that. That yeah. makes sense. Okay, we have another yes. picture here, Liz. Gorgeous color, uh, well, now bright yellow. Now, this is yellow. a statement door. So this is a basement where they had an odd-shaped opening, and they just wanted to cover that right up. So they created this ah. on-site because it was too big to carry down. Very nice. How about using it in a nursery? I think that this is such Isn't a so cute, cute space, especially because it's it's chalkboard paint I know, on it, so right? Cute. And this was the only way that they could have the crib and the closet because ah. before the, the uh, hinge door was hitting the crib. So that's a really great solution. Very smart. All right, and then there's this one. I, I like the look uh, of these doors. Absolutely. So you can, th this is glass, frosted glass, so you can still let the light in here. So as you can see, just so many different, whatever problem you've got, they can solve. And also mirrors. A lot of us have the sliding doors that are mirrors. Yeah, at um, your front entrance. At your right? front entrance. And they're very dated. A lot of them are the they're brass. Dated. And then what do you do? A lot of times you don't have room for the hinge doors. So here they've created mirrored doors, again, with that bypassing telescopic hardware. Oh my gosh, just ask for <laughs> bypassing telescopic hardware. They'll be like, oh my god, you're so smart. I love oh that. Yeah. Those are great barn doors. Let's go to break. More coming up.